welcome to the new video in this video we are going to make a canvas shoes for a character which i was making in the past like the, this spider gwen character i was making a shoe for that character so i thought why not make a video for that shoe so i just thought of telling you how i made that shoes and there is one very key uh, sculpting tip which i want to give and you can skip the video like whole video and go to the end and just listen to that and just bug off but yeah um if you'll watch the video you'll get more what do you call it tips or uh what goes in my mind while creating those stuff um you can know that yeah and i messed up a little bit because while i was doing the voice over voice over for that video i somehow i just forgot to turn on my camera like turn start recording on my camera i just turned it uh, turned it on on my mic and i just recorded the whole video at the end i was like oh shit i didn't record the face like face my face on that video so only voice is there not my face so you can see the expressions bear with it yeah let's carry on with the video so yeah we are here i just had this blog in, in fast i just wanted to make a shoes out of out of it because this ballet shoes was not that detailed so i just thought let's use that block dynamish it stretch it squeeze it and change the forms and we just make a camera shoes so yeah um, basic idea is masking the stuff and extracting out the mesh then remeshing that mesh then making different panels of the shoes like panels or patterns of the shoes then we can just the we will just do some primary sculpt okay primary sculpt on on that thing because we are not going in a secondary tertiary this shoes is not telling any story with the sculpt it's just a shoes okay it's just a shoe and if you don't know how to tell a story with your sculpt it's kind of tricky i'll tell you in some other video this videos because let's say i'll just give you a hint okay let's say this shoes was torn and uh, it was uh, kind of messy it was it 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 will have some kind of uh, memory folds too much of um, like irregularities then that that shows that yeah this shoes is getting used and it's getting too used too much like this girl doesn't have a, other shoes that's why she is using it that much yeah so th by this you can just add a little bit story to your sculpt but i i hope you get a small idea but like little bit of idea and here you can see that i have added a sphere and i'm just blocking out the this uh, shape of and for making a shoes just make sure that you have a leg inside that shoe because if you if you are making a shoes without a leg then i don't know what is what is your plan uh you can just add, have a leg a base base leg uh, of any any character and just uh, block out the shape from there you will get a kind of kind of proper shape like decent shape uh, later on you have to edit it but yeah you will get a kind of proper shape because that that um, layer will wrap on your leg okay without that leg you will not get the idea how to wrap that mesh onto your like how to get the proper shape because right now this leg is also not properly shaped because this is just base mesh and I, i didn't did any sculpt on it but yeah you you'll get the idea right now i got the idea because of that shape itself see you can uh, you can see i'm masking stuff and i'll just extract it and uh, i'll just uh, make different panels and uh, there are, there are other method and uh, methods of making shoes some people go in marvelous designer directly make the shoes over there but uh, i i'm not that expert in marvelous, marvelous designer maybe later on i'll try it because it's just about sitting there having your patterns knowing some technical stuff and just doing it uh, yeah you can see that i, I polygrouped it and uh, different polygroup will help me to just extract out the mesh like separate out the mesh with control shift i think if you are following the videos you might know that i use control shift a lot or i think zebrish most of the zebrish artists use control shift a lot it's not like i am the only one who is using it okay. yep remesh and with decent remeshing we just uh, get a low res mesh like kind of mesh kind of a mesh where we can just control every vertex and every uh, shape so and at the same time on my other screen i had the references proper references for this thing real life shoes references 
some some stylized references some stitching references some lace and but not i had i had references like literally many references for this thing i thought of making it fast forward because see creating videos every time it's kind of uh, and having this because this skull took me around i don't know how many hours but um i just have to recall like i have to see like how many hours it took but it's almost like five hours or six hours i guess so i can't just show a video for five or six hours so i just chopped it down and i didn't wanted to put that much effort in editing that i chopped chop it where where like Accurate, uh, accurate parts are there, but I just gave you idea how what is going on. I just blocked out a mesh. I just created uh, this thing uh, mask on that mesh, and uh, from that blocked out mesh and dynamized mesh, I am just creating mask on it. I'm just extracting it. I'm just remeshing, remeshing it, remeshing it, and uh, yeah, like this is our uh, curve snap curve snap brush it's their default in zbrush you can check it out and i'm just drawing it on the surface and move, uh, editing it with this uh, good old move brush and again see every panel is made with this mask <laughs> every panel is made with this mask so nothing tricky was going on like, like nothing tricky everything was raw every, everything was like basic very basic I think it's fast forward, that's why you've been thinking, ah, oh, it's, it's, it's too much is going on, but nothing is going on. It's just blocking mesh. On that blocking mesh, I'm creating mask, I'm just, I'm just extracting out mask and I think it, yeah, there is this, um, insert mesh brush and ZBrush also, you can check it out. In that, you will find this, um, shoes hole, lace, lace hole, shoes holding, um, lace hole, you can, uh, just use it with control, control holding with holding control i'm just duplicating it like dragging it out and now i'm using z modeler and for z mod with z model i'm just like giving it thickness it's kind of extruding in a normal 3d software i'm just extruding the uh, rims like these designs parts and panels also because every panel because i have to like sculpt on it obviously they have to have some kind of thickness you don't need it actually like in panels you can just leave the inside part and and you can just sculpt it and i have to like give edges to hold or else if if i divide if i divide it it will get shrunk and shrunk and... yep now you can see that i will be dividing it and i'll be uh, adding details in few of the parts not most of them so yeah, this shoes um, was originally I was making it for this Spider Gwen character, which I was making I don't know for how long I, I was working on it, but uh, it's like it was just my um, practice project, so I didn't care about finishing it right now. But I will finish it someday. Uh, so I was exploring with different different stuff in that, like female anatomy and stylization and uh, this kind of prop making. I'll, I was thinking of making clothing for that thing also. Yeah. Later on, let's say, let's see uh, how, how it will turn out, but I'll work on it. I, I thought, I, I think that I, whatever I will be working on, uh, like in, in whatever part I will be working on this character, I'll just try to make a video out of it. Like this shoes is there when I'll be working on the clothing or something, I'll make videos out of it so that you can get an idea how this one character get completed in small pieces. So this is our only this uh, curve tube, uh, not tube, curve snap brush. There are three to four, I guess, curve brushes. You can use it in ZBrush, and this flat one is also there. And I just laid out this uh, curve on our on our mesh, and later on uh, edited it with our move brush. It's simple, and then later on gave gave it a thickness, and with the thickness, um, yeah, it's done. Like not that. Um, I guess if you have any doubt, just ask me because uh, I think I'm just making planes like we used to do in uh, maya making planes extracting like uh, extruding it and just ex dividing it and sculpting on it like i don't think it's a tricky part this thing is just a rectangle mesh and uh, on that i have divided it uh, like four to five times i guess and i just sculpted on it with the 
standard brush and these stitching brushes i somehow got it from i think internet i guess i some i got it from somewhere and i think they are they were free but i don't know how like they are for sharing or not so i'm not sharing it you can just search it or search it online and just use it these are or you can make it also there are other tutorials on uh, youtube for making this stitching stitching brushes but i i got lazy and i thought why it it's already made yeah so this is just a normal curve brush and with the curve you can just control the stitchings those lines and i'm just making the stitching lines and later on these are kind of too thin so i'll just inflate it a little bit so that it's visible at least from a distance and distance readability, readability in a character is for games also like for games it's so very important but for other stuff it's also important like props and uh, 3d printing and all so yeah mostly it's uh, process was i guess simple if you have any doubt any confusion any um request like i'll be making videos i i i usually see all the comments okay i or i try to try no no not a proper word i do reply on all the comments so if you have doubt if you want to connect if you want to because i wanted to make a discord and all but right now i i didn't have the idea so i did explore it but later on i i think i'll do it and why i'm taking this machine maya is because there is this um uh, diamond kind of design on the camera shoes i think if you have seen it on the front there is this that diamond diamond kind of design so in zbrush i didn't knew that how to do it in zbrush so i just thought okay let's take it in maya i know maya so i'll just use it this poke um, mesh option here i'll just align the planes in a proper shape like kind of square shape or um, um, yeah kind of that shape and there is this option where you can just uh, have this mesh got uh, get cut it into different uh, triangles and you can just select the vertex and just pull it out so that is that is all what i did and i just edited it and later on i had the i had few tileable alpha alpha maps tileable maps so i just added them for see right now the shoes is kind of thin right it, it, it's not telling any story but let's say i had added some secondary folds memory folds and those stuff then this would have told a story and uh, these alphas are i just thought of finishing it in a way that i can just represent a uh, clean shoes not not like very much used shoes so i just did that and uh, with this uh, surface option i hope you are familiar with surface option if you are not just let me know i i'll try to make a short video out of it and i have this tileable um ma uh, tileable maps so with surface option and with this tileable maps i just added some surface details but this is not required because from a distance they won't be visible <laughs> if your forms are correct if these those forms are reading correct your model will look beautiful if your forms your silhouettes are correct that is the only key part don't go in the details sculpting in zebras doesn't mean you have to go in details 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 no details are not that important only thing which is important is, is that proportionally or with the design with the forms it should look like a shoe first of all it should look like a shoe because adding the alpha details doesn't make it a shoe shoe is by default form and design if those things are fine everything will look good yep so focus on sculpting with proper forms and mostly go with the primary not like adding directly tertiary details now that is not required forms silhouettes focus on that sculpt more you'll get the hang of it and uh, so yeah, I, I hope you liked the video and you got some um, good points to keep a note of. And yep, like this, I'll be like, it's much faster for me to make videos uh, regularly. So I'll be making videos like this. I hope you'll get information, knowledge or whatever. Like I'm doing it, I'll be showing you. And if you are getting value, you can do what you have to do. 
uh, like like share subscribe whatever thank you so much for watching let's see you in the next video